Wendell. Oh, thanks for doing this on such short notice. Hey, it's no problem. It's Saturday night in New York City. There's nothing I'd rather do than babysit your kids. No date, huh? I'm actually taking the night off. I'm giving the other players a chance. <laughs> Hang in there, Wendell. I'll keep an eye out for you. You know, I know a lot of nice ladies. Hey, my grandmother's nice. Give me somebody fine. <laughs> All right, kids, be good. Bye-bye. Good night, good night. Bye, Mom, bye, Dad. All right. Bye. Bye. Hey, man, that's... See ya. Don't worry, Wendell. You'll find a date someday. Not sitting here on the couch with us, you will. <laughs> oh, I can get plenty of dates. Just ever since Karen and I broke up, I haven't been able to find that special lady. There's a special lady in the kitchen I'm looking for. Who? Sarah Lee. <laughs> and don't forget her friends, Ben and Jerry. All right. <laughs> you can have a snack before bedtime. All right. Hi. Are you looking for that one special lady? Then look no further than Classy Escorts, New York's number one dating service. Call me now. I'm Cristal. Wow. We can order a special lady over the phone. Yeah, just like a pizza. Exactly. <laughs> Hello, my name's Nick. <clears throat> I mean, my name's Wendell. <laughs> and I like to order one special lady. Yes, make that to go. <laughs> Asia's around. Well, she is the pledge mistress of the Dream Girls. We have to do what she says if we want to get into the hottest female crew in school. Yeah, well, they do have all the hookups, all the parties, yep. the backstage passes at the concerts. Not to mention, they get their pick of the football players. Girl, you know, I was just about to mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here she comes. Attention, pledges. Yes, yes pledge mistress? mistress? Inspection. Peterson. What's with that lipstick? Uh, Kimura, fix it for her. With your eyes closed. <laughs> Close them! <laughs> but first, let me point you in the right direction. <laughs> now listen up. If you really want to be dream girls, then you've got to pass one more test. And that is to pick a boy and date him for one week. Well, I can do that with my eyes closed. Well, you might have to. The boy you pick must be the homeliest, nerdiest, ugliest loser you can find. In fact, he's got to be beyond ugly because it's oogly week. <laughs> Isn't that a little cold? Well, no one gets hurt. It's all in fun. I like a cheeseburger and order fries. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought I was talking to the clown at Jack in the Box. T.K. Anderson, shouldn't you be breaking into somebody's locker? Zarya, how can you stand living with a street kid? See, I don't live with him. We keep him in the basement. Oh, shoot. Take him, Asia. Fight! <laughs> Looking for a Wendell? I'm a Wendell. <laughs> so, um, here I am. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? <laughs> Anything you want, baby. 
Who are you and what are you doing here? I'm Christelle. Uh, didn't you set this up? Set what? Oh! Rob and Jerry came through for me. I mean, they let me mooch off of them and they give me a date. <laughs> Hello. Hey, nobody said anything about two dates. Ah, girl, Rob, she's fine and she's funny, man. Thanks, partner. <laughs> no problem. Uh, who is she? What do you mean, man? It's Christelle. You know Rob, right? Hmm, probably. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, make yourself comfortable. <laughs> Didn't you set this up? No, no. Where'd you meet her? Right over there. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> Jerry said she had a friend that she wanted you to meet. Oh, tell her, you know, give her brother notice next time. <laughs> Don't do your thing. All right. Ah, <laughs> uh, so check this out, Carissa. Would you like to go on a date on Saturday night? I thought this was our date. Oh, nah, I'm dressed for babysitting, not sitting with a babe. <laughs> oh, so you're babysitting? Yeah. That's sweet. So look, Saturday night we'll go out and make this all right. Uh, about the bill. Um... What bill? When Wendell Wilcox takes a woman out, he pays the bill. I'll take care of the bill and everything else. Oh, okay, baby. <laughs> I think I'm gonna like you. <laughs> 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 for Ooglies, you gotta be fast. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Oh, Some people can be so rude. Indeed they are. Are you okay? Hi. I'm sorry. Uh... Oh, I know who you are. I'm Gordon. And you're just the guy I'm looking for. Me? Why, you need a tutor? No, I need a date. A date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, you know what? Let me see these. These pictures are really good. You should be in my photography class. I am. Oh, right. You're the one that sits next to, um, you sit next to... You. <laughs> see, I knew I knew you from somewhere. So, you want to go on a date with me, Gordon? Oh, Zaria, I never even thought I'd talk to someone like you. And now we're going out on a date? Thank you, Zaria. This is the happiest day of my life. Oh! <laughs> it's okay. Mother will pop that shoulder right back into place. <laughs> So, you kicking it with Gordon? Man, it's only for a week, TK. That's messed up. Even I wouldn't run game on someone like Gordon. And they call me a hustler? What up, G? What up, dog? How you living? Zari's got you carrying all her stuff? Man, you sprung. Sprung like a spring. <laughs> okay, thanks for finding everything for me, Gordon. Okay, come on, take this to the kitchen. You guys go get ready. She'll be here any minute. Zaria, I have something for you. The picture from class. You had it framed. You said you liked it. This is so sweet. Are you blushing? No, hyperventilating. <laughs> oh, that would be Mother. How do you know? Who else could it be? Gotta go. <laughs> okay, I'll see you at school tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, guys, hurry up. She'll be here any minute. What are you doing? Getting us some free pay-per-view. That's illegal. So what? I ain't hurt nobody. But it's wrong. Don't you have a conscience? Oh, I know you ain't talking. 
What's that supposed to mean? You know what it means. Why are you playing Gordon like that? Man, I'm not hurting anybody. What is wrong? Don't you have a conscience? <laughs> Now, tomorrow, you'll be doing this in the lunchroom in front of the entire school. You better not let me down. And one and two. Dream girls, they're all that. All the others, they're just that. Dream girls, they're all that. All the others, they're just that. Very good, then. And as a reward, there's a big, huge party Saturday night. And uh, bring your dates, because it's the grand finale of Oogly Week. Oh, wait. You mean I have to bring Gordon with me to the dance? Zarya, do you want to be a dream girl or not? Remember, being a dream girl is not just about high school. We get into the best colleges, and your alums will help you in your career. Now, are you down? Yeah, I'm down. This better be worth it. And that's why even today, when people get their pictures taken, they still say, cheese. <laughs> Not me, though. I'm lactose intolerant. I say, tofu. <laughs> Zaria! Oh, hey, Gordon. I didn't even know you were here. Uh, we did. <laughs> oh, Zaria. You look radiant. The heavens must be missing an angel. <laughs> Well, we better get going. Mother's double parked. Okay, I'll meet you out there in a second, okay? Okay. Uh, goodbye, Gordon. Tofu. Tofu. <laughs> I'm sorry, come here. What's going on? What? He's just a friend. It seems like he thinks it's a lot more than that. Um, Dad, when you pledged a fraternity, did you ever do anything that you didn't want to do? We did a lot of crazy things, but we never hurt anybody. Well, I'm not gonna hurt anybody. Okay, love you. I love you, too. Bye Good night. Good night. Hey, <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what do you think? You look good. Come on, tell me something I don't know. <laughs> Is uh, Chris out here? No. Where are you going? I think I'm going to treat her to a little dinner, a little jazz, and a whole lot of wind there. <laughs> She's a lucky woman. I was going to wear a tux, but I didn't want people to think I was James Bond. You know what I mean? James Bond. <laughs> Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Watch me roll a seven. Some kind of message. Turn around. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn around. Ah! Gaudi! Long time no see black blonde man. We meet again. I've got a surprise for you today, man. What is it? I'm going to take over the world again. I can't let you do that. It's too late. 
Peace Dice Man on radio transmitters. When me roll them, nuclear missiles around the world will destroy everything except Kingston and two rib joints in Chicago. That's really good. <laughs> Nothing happened. I don't understand. I do. These are your special dice. I switch them with phony dice. <laughs> well, you won't take me alive, man. You won't take me. This is my fake hand here. It's actually a grenade. When I pull this, I will blow up the whole place. Yeah, man. Yes! Yeah, pull it, baby. Pull it, booty. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I disarm your arm while you were in the pooper. Security! <laughs> In the last of me, man, me see a sequel, and you're not a real man. <laughs> it's okay, everyone. He's foiled again. Black Blonde has done it again. I'm a bad, bad, super bad. Blown these. <laughs> Watch me roll the seven, baby. Robert? There she is. Well, did you get her flowers or anything? Mm, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Krista, these are for you. Oh, thanks, baby. <laughs> My dates never give me flowers. Let me put them in a vase. Perfect fit. Like... <laughs> oh, you are so cute. Is this your first time doing this? No, I always tell the flowers. <laughs> I'm Jerry. Oh, nice to meet you. I thought you guys knew each other from the courthouse. Courthouse? So you are a career girl too, huh? Yes, I am. Seven years of school, but I'm finally out. They have schools for this. Ooh, New York has everything. <laughs> yeah. All right, see y'all later. Okay, nice meeting you. Uh, Wendell, Wendell, can you give me a second? Jerry doesn't know her, and I don't know her. Where does she come from? I don't know. She like me, and I like her, man. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you in a special lady? Tonight I am. And here's your 250. <laughs> Nicholas, uh, why are you giving Crystal money? Because the man on the phone said cash your credit card on. <laughs> I think this evening's about to take an interesting turn. So do I. Cristal, so you work for an escort service? Yeah. Why'd you call it escort service? Because you were lonely. And we just wanted to help you, Wendell. Nicholas, why, why don't you go upstairs, sweetie? Uh, Rob, Jerry, could you guys give us a minute? Sure, sure. Uh... Listen, Crystal, you're beautiful and everything, but uh, this isn't going to work out. <sighs> Actually, I was looking forward to going out with you. You know, in my work, I don't meet a lot of nice guys. <laughs> well, you know you don't have to do this for the rest of your life. Hey, I mean, it's a living. At least it got me on TV. Yeah, you the girl on that commercial, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Crystal. Call now. <laughs> nice to meet you, special lady. Nice to meet you. Wendell Wilcox. I'm walking to the door. Okay. showed me. Ow! Aren't that light on my feet? Those aren't your feet, those are mine. <laughs> Man, I can't wait till this day is over. The agency I brought Gordon with me, how could she miss him? Well, as soon as he stops doing whatever it is he's doing, I'm getting us out of here. Hey, do you like jello salad? Well, I like jello. 
and I like salad. Yeah. I knew it. Can you come to my house next Sunday? My whole family wants to meet you. Gordon, I Listen up, everybody. Welcome to the Beauty and the Beast Ball. Sisters, bring up the finalists. Now, the sisters have voted, and in this envelope is the name of our winner. This year's King of the Beasts is Gordon Simmons! Zara, crown your beast. So that's what this is all about? Gordon, look, I'm really sorry. I didn't know it was gonna go this far. Go ahead if it'll get you into the dream, girls. This has been the best week of my life. Until now, just do it. Yes, Zarya, do it. Do it, 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 do it. You wear it, Asia. You're the true beast of the ball. Peterson, are you crazy? I was crazy to pledge for this stupid club. And if this is your dream, girl, you need to wake up. Yeah, great. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I, I guess I just got caught up. I didn't mean to do this. Look, just go back to ignoring me now. What, what about Sunday? What about it? Well, you promised me some Jello salad. You still want to come? Of course. Meeting you was the only nice thing that came out of all of this. Well, then let's make like Tom and Cruz. <laughs> remember the last time I saw you? <laughs> oh, yeah, man, me remember. <laughs> remember you? Me originality. <laughs> we couldn't eat jerk chicken for a week. <laughs> I'd be glad you had gingivitis. <laughs> Check it out! <laughs> You haven't seen a lot of me! You're not a real blood. Me seeing a sequel! Me seeing a sequel! <laughs> No, 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 window, window, window. The Incredible Hulk is a superhero. No, he's not, man. All he does is get mad, get green, rip off his clothes, and start breaking stuff. <laughs> I mean, my mama do that, man. Window, you're too old to be reading these comic books. No, man, these are worth a lot of money, man. They're classics. Yo, can I see it? Sure. See? There you go. <laughs> uh, TK, what's that? Oh, my pager. Oh, I'll see y'all later. Rob, what have I been telling you since day one? I'll pay you back. <laughs> man, about TK, man. He's got a pager. What is he needing? Surgery? <laughs> Wendell, TK is doing fine. He hasn't been in trouble in weeks. Uh, Zarya, hmm? how was TK in school today? I don't know. Aren't you guys in the same history class? Well, yeah, but he wasn't there today. What? Yeah, he usually sleeps right behind me. <laughs> See what I'm saying, man? Pager, ditch in school, survey says, crap dealer. <laughs>
from being sued. All these years of being a psychic, and I didn't see it coming. <laughs> Don't worry. When we get in that courtroom tomorrow, we're gonna prove that you're an excellent psychic. Jerry, I'm a nervous wreck. <laughs> Don't worry. Everything will be fine in court tomorrow. Oh, well, thank God a sign led me to you. You saw a sign? Yeah. The one outside that says Jerry Peterson, attorney at law. <laughs> I am so glad I set up my own practice. Corporate law just wasn't for me. Plus, I miss my family. Yes, your family. I see three lovely children in this house. Ooh, Sabina, you're good. How'd you know that? I see them over there, peeking in. <laughs> hey, kids. Guys, come on in. This is my client, Sabina. Hey, Mommy told us about you. You're a psycho. <laughs> ick, ick, psychic. And a great one, and we're going to prove that in court tomorrow. Thank you, Jerry. Oh, look, can I call you a cab? No, no need. I'm sensing one coming down the street right now. Or is it a school bus? A giant banana? Oh, Lord, well, there's something yellow out there. Mom, I think Cece had it right the first time. Psycho. Yeah, Mom, when are you gonna get some normal clients? You had a mailman who bit a dog. And a blind peeping tongue. Come on, I'm just starting out. I know they're all a little weird, but they keep me busy. I'm gonna have to start looking for an assistant. Oh, hire me. I'm cheap. Sorry, this is a lot of work. You have to be responsible. Well, I'm cheap and responsible. I guess we could give it a try. You're hired. Yes. What about us, Mommy? We'll work cheap, too. I've got a quarter. We're not that cheap. <laughs> Hey, Mom, I have your phone messages, your schedule for next week, and I was just about to organize Sabina's file. Very good, Zaria. I'm impressed. Does that mean I'm worth more money? Worth more? Yes. Get more? No. <laughs> oh, Jerry, I got here as soon as I got your message. I didn't leave a message. Well, were you thinking about it? Actually, I was. Oh, I'm back. Great, because I've been going over the case and I think we can win it. Oh, I sure hope so. Because if I lose, I'm back on the psychic hotline squeezed on a couch between Nail Carter and Esther Rowe. <laughs> Don't worry, we are gonna win this case. Wait a minute. Wait, I'm getting I'm getting something. Well, maybe we can catch it on the way to your apartment. Well, let's hurry. Let's see how you operate. Keep up the good work, Zaria. Can we help? No, you guys are too little. Hello? Hey, girl, what's up? Maxwell is at the record store signing autographs? Oh, he just kissed you on your cheek. Let me talk to him. Let me talk to him. Oh, oh my gosh. My name is, um, uh, my, my name is, um, Zaria, silly. Zaria, silly. No, no, I mean, just stay there. I'll be right there, okay? Bye. You guys still want to help? What happened to, we're too little. I'll give you a quarter. Mm, I'm still feeling little. That's what mom was going to give us. Okay, how about a dollar? Nick, I think we just grew up. <laughs> okay, okay, listen. Put the red ones in the blue file and the yellow ones in the green file. Got it? Got it. Okay. Okay, Cece, let's get started. I'm taking a lunch break. Uh-oh, my bad. Let's clean it up. Oh, shoot. Look what you're doing. I don't know where I'll follow this one. Where? Right here. So, uh, how was school today? Oh, school was cool. Yeah, that's right. You and Zaria are in the same history class. Uh, she said you had a pop quiz. Oh, they did? I mean, um, yeah, yeah, we did. <laughs> so, uh, how'd you do? Oh, I did good. <laughs> liar, liar. <laughs> no, I, I don't think you did so good. What? 
I mean, I mean, I ain't trying to dish you, Mr. P, but um, how do you know he wasn't there? And you weren't there either. <laughs> Why'd you cut school today, TK? I didn't really cut school. I left because I had to do something. And by the time I remember to go back, school was out. Yeah, right. <laughs> TK, why do you have a pager? Oh, my boy, uh, he, he, he asked me to hold it for him. And, and, and he paged me so I could give it back to him. Woohoo! <laughs> Window, please. TK, you're grounded. And when the family goes to the Nick game tomorrow, you can't come. Now go to your room. You can't ground that boy, man. He need to be behind bars. <laughs> it's just like those comic book characters. They start out small, and then they want their own the world. Window, window, window. You need to slow your roll. <laughs> this is real life. This is not a comic book. What's big and round and soon to be ours? <laughs> big Butt Brenda. <laughs> no, Mr. Chill, the world. And no one, no one can stop us. <laughs> You've played with your last puzzle. Holy underwear, rat man. It's free. <laughs> My tail's getting hard, too. Well, if it's not the dynamic dummies, someone call an exterminator. We have rolled The only thing that's going to get exterminated today are you two and your three henchmen. <laughs> Oh, we'll see about that. Don't just stand there looking puzzles and get them. Crawford Jigsaw Soul Train Scrabble Ball. <laughs> next time for the adventures of Ratman and Pigeon. Same rat time, same rat channel. That's for me. Wendell, what are you doing? Shh. What? I'll get it. What up, Baker? Yo, what's up, TK? This a uh, nice little crib you got here, homie. Oh, good looking now. You got the stuff? Man, you know I got the stuff. You got the cash. The stuff ain't cheap. Is the stuff good? Ask anybody I deal with, man. Word, word. Yo, look, though. They got me on lockdown, so I need the stuff to be here tomorrow. Because the Petersons, they all gone, so bring the works. Yo, you should flex on. I want nobody to know my business. All right. Believe me now, Rob? TK is selling drugs out of your house, man. TK would sell drugs in my house. I should have called the police yesterday. And tell him what? And tell him that he was in here talking about stuff, the works. Sounds like a pizza, man. <laughs> we gotta get hard evidence. And how are we gonna do that? We're about to go high tech. High tech? That's CeCe's baby monitor. I know, I'm wrong. <laughs> See, this guy, Leo, thought his girlfriend was cheating on him. Did he catch her? No, me and his girlfriend just whispered. <laughs> Mr. Baker. That's how I come. TK, what up? Hey, is uh, everybody gone, man? Yeah, yeah, it's cool. I want to be here for a couple hours. 
You got the stuff? Man, here it is. To that. Yeah, that's fine. Rob, you hear that? You got the stuff. You know what the yeah, stuff yeah, means. Yeah, yeah. Shh, shh, shh. You know me, baby. The Baker man always comes through. Yo, the ladies are here. Hey, ladies. Hey. Make yourself at home. Put it right there. They got ladies in there. Yeah, they probably strippers. Shh. What should we do? Let them strip. <laughs> Are you ready, Mrs. Peterson? Your Honor, just a little longer, please. My assistant still hasn't arrived. I've already allowed you 15 minutes, Mrs. Peterson. Perhaps you'd like us to take an hour recess. That would be great, Your Honor. <laughs> so would world peace. Now let's get started. Sabina, shh. I'm having a vision. If you see my daughter in your vision, could you tell her to get her butt here? Oh, I, I see her. I see her. She's coming. She's on her way. And she's got the posters. Tell her I don't need any posters. Honey, this is a crystal ball, not a telephone. Everybody get ready. Here she comes. A surprise drug party? When you heard of one now, be quiet. Hey, let's have a taste. Hey, hey, hold up, hold up. It'll get you hooked. Rob, they getting high off their own supply. <laughs> let's go with it. No, no, window, window. We need more evidence. What more evidence do you want to hear? You want to hear him cutting the cocaine on the table? <laughs> this is dope. Let's cut it on the coffee table. All right, we'll grab the <laughs> Look at the strippers they got, man. You see what drugs will do to you? Drugs, what are you talking about? TK, what's going on here? This is a surprise birthday party for Mrs. Green. You expect us to believe that? This is a dope party. OK, then where's the dope? Where the dope? Where the dope? Where the dope? It's dope in the cake? Nah, it's cake. It's dope. It's good. It's real good. It's light and fluffy. Yo, Mr. P, I can't believe you thought I was selling drugs. You still don't believe me? You don't, you don't trust me, do you? I'm sorry, y'all. Sorry, Mrs. Green. TK. Mrs. Peterson, we've waited long enough. I'm starting the proceedings. Miss Washington, you're seeking $3,500 in damages for breach of contract? That's right, Your Honor. Uh, Sabina, that so-called psychic, told me if I went to Nell's Grill every Friday night for a month, I would meet a tall, handsome man who would attend to my every beck and call. And did you meet this man? No, I did not. If you ask me, her crystal ball needs some Windex. <laughs> Your Honor, if I could have a moment, a tiny one. Why not? Mom, sorry I'm late. I had to stop by the record store so Maxwell could sign my poster. And I got you one, too. Sorry, you forget Maxwell. Did you get everything? Yes, everything is there and everything is in place. Counselor, can we continue, please? Yes, Your Honor. I would like to present evidence that is vital to this case. Zarya, why are these files so sticky? Uh, because we're in a sticky situation. <laughs> Do I look hungry, Mrs. Peterson? No, you're not. But, like the jelly on your fingers. Miss Washington is in a jam. And like peanut butter sticks to the roof of your mouth, Miss Washington needed to stick to Sabina's instructions. But you didn't, did you, Miss Washington? Yes, I did. I swear I did. I 
went to Nell's every Friday night, and the only person I met was Nell. And even though she has a mustache, she is not the man of my dreams. <laughs> Think about it, Miss Washington. Every Friday for a month. Yes, I did. And how did you usually like to pay? I usually like for a man to pay. But since I don't have one, I use my platinum credit card. $25,000 limit. Thank you. Your Honor, <laughs> these receipts are proof that Miss Washington wasn't there on the fourth Friday of the month. What is she talking about? Girl, I'm a psychic, and even I can't see where she's going. <laughs> Your Honor, if she had gone that fourth Friday, she would have met a man. A tall man, handsome man. A man who would have attended to her every beck and call. I am talking about the new waiter who started at Nell's that very night. Feast your eyes on Francois. Your Honor, I dropped my charges. Case dismissed. Oh, Terry, I knew you could do it. Bye-bye, ladies. Bye-bye. Well, Mom, it was mm. touch and go there for a second, but I think we pulled through. We? OK, I know I was irresponsible. Yes, you were. And I know I shouldn't have taken advantage of the fact that my mother was my boss. Right again. I'm sorry. So, what's next? Let me look. <laughs> see you in a long line. Oh, for a Maxwell concert? No, the unemployment line. You're fired. <laughs> Give me my first I like him. Mm -hmm. Look, Mr. P, man, I did a lot of stupid things in my life. But half of my boys are in jail for selling drugs. Man, I ain't going out like that. TK, I'm sorry. Wendell and I blew this whole thing way out of proportion. And about the party? Man, when DeAndre got locked up, I promised I'd look after his grandmother. She's all he got. So this was all about a promise? Nah, it's more than that. I mean, Mrs. Green, she used to look after me, too. I mean, that's why I skipped school, because she needed somebody to get her medicine for. I mean, that's what the homies do for each other. That's what decent people do for each other. TK, why didn't you just tell me? Man, I, I didn't want to come off, you know, soft. I got my rep. You don't have to prove anything to anybody. Just be yourself. There's nothing wrong with showing people that you care. It takes a really strong man to be soft. Yeah, I hear you, Mr. P. Sound like Mrs. Green's getting her groove on. What? <laughs> Come on, girls. Let's show this young fella how we do it in Brooklyn. Oh, what? <laughs> Go, Mrs. Green. Go, Mrs. Green. Ooh. Come on, young thing. Shake that butt. <laughs> from Nell's Grill. Saria, this is important evidence. You should have been here hours ago. It's not my fault. I was passing by Baskin Robbins, and guess who I saw working there? Sheena. Big Sheena. You know, she's one scoop away from popping out that uniform. Hey, y'all. Hey, TK, how was school? School? Oh, school, yeah, school was cool. You know, we did all the school stuff, the reading, the writing. The coloring, the building blocks, the ABCs. <laughs> It's a ladder, man. Nope. Guess again. I got it, I got it. Uh, well, what is it, Cece? Train tracks. The little engine that could. Yeah, she got it. <laughs> all right. How'd you know that, Cece? When you live with a kid all your life, you know how he thinks. 
Oh, I get it. All right, no, no, I got it. She got a point. Wendell, they told me I'd find you here. Bernadette? Yes. What? <laughs> hey, Bernadette Powell. How long has it been? Ten years, Robert. Wendell, there's someone here that I want you to meet. Daddy! <laughs> This is your father. Nice to meet you, sir. Can I get my allowance? <laughs> well, he sounds like Wendell's son. Uh, Nicholas, why don't you and Cece take Wendell Jr. upstairs and show him your toys? Okay. Oh, thank you, Come sir. Come on, Wendell. How did this happen? I mean, I know how this happened. <laughs> but how did this happen? Uh, Robert, I think we should go in the kitchen and make some drinks. Uh, no, honey, I want to hear how this happened. I mean, I know how it happened, but I want to hear how it happened. Well, oh, yeah. Explain to me. I mean, it's been so long. I don't, I don't understand. I mean... Okay, well, Wendell, do you remember that summer that we spent together? Yeah, how can I forget? You know? Well, when I left, I took a little something of yours along with me. What? <laughs> No. No, what you talking about? <laughs> Little Wendell. Oh. We have a son. Well, why are you telling me now? It's been so long. What are you, I, was... I was scared. I didn't know how you were going to react. But lately, Wendell just keeps asking me questions about his father. So I, I felt that it was about time that he met you. Is everything OK in here? Uh. Yeah, I think Wendell's just gonna need a minute, you know, to get used to the idea of being a father. I'm gonna go and help Jerry with the drinks. You all right, man? I don't know, man. I mean, a minute ago, I was just Uncle Wendell, but now I'm somebody's father, man. You think she's asking me for my money? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I mean, I've got a son, Rob. Right? Congratulations, Wendell. I'm gonna be the best father I could be, man. I'm a father. Yo, look, man. That's Tyra Banks. Yo, she is too fine. Yeah, I could have her if I wanted. Get out of here. I know, for real, man. Saw her on the subway one time. She was giving me that look. What look? You know, the look, man. Like this. <laughs> Looks like gas to me, man. Yeah, whatever, man. But you, we both know that when it comes to the game of love, I am the most valuable player. So what you get into the weekend, big player? Oh, uh, you know I got my new crib, man. About to christen it on Friday night, if you know what I'm saying. You got a shorty for Friday? Oh, yeah. I got a real shorty. I'm playing Hungry Hippos with Cece. <laughs> Let me help you with that. Oh, thank you. It's nice to know someone around here knows how to treat a lady. There's a lady around here? What's she? <laughs> I'm Devon Tate. Hi, how you doing? I'm Zaria. Hey, your boyfriend is a very lucky man. 
I don't have a boyfriend. Oh, come on. Now, why you want to play me like that? <laughs> Yo, she ain't playing you, D. She ain't got nobody. Ain't got? It's Verb Day on Sesame Street. Maybe you should check it out. So you want me to take these upstairs for you real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you up to, dog. But this is as far as you're going to go. Why? TK, you going to take it upstairs for me? No, nah, you are. <laughs> mm, man, now she is too fine. Yeah, I know what you up to, D, man, but she ain't that kind of girl. What kind of girl is she? The kind of girl that like walking in the park, holding hands, reading books, all that crazy stuff. I was just saying, she's, uh, she's too high maintenance. Now we talk. I got you. Yo, Tony Braxton. I could have her if I wanted. <laughs> Caught up in being a father. Yeah, man, I even went by the library and picked up a couple books. The Joys of Being a Father. The Father and You. <laughs> the Godfather. Uh, Wendell, uh, doesn't it kind of bother you that uh, Bernadette never told you about Junior? Yeah, but, you know, we talked about it. She had said she didn't want to trap me. And you're fine with that? Yeah. All I knew is... I've got a son, and I want to make up for the past 10 years. Tomorrow, we're going to the arcade, the zoo, the museum. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't do everything in one day. I can try. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to you about Junior, man. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, well, you got a good start. Uh, I think you're doing a good job. Why rush? I just want to be a good father like you are, man. Just take your time. So you think I should hold off from visiting colleges today? <laughs> I think so. You're right. We do that tomorrow. <laughs> What's up, TK? Hey, what's up, D? I didn't know you was coming through here. Oh, yeah, I got a date, man. Hey, we boys and everything, but... I thought, no, 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 not with you, man. Zaria. Hey, man, I thought I told you to stay away from her. I know, look, I know, man. Look, she's trying to get with me, all right? Look, I called to talk to you, she picked up. Next thing I know, we're going out, man. What can I do? Hey, you missing the Hi, point. Divine. You ready hey. for our poetry reading? Yeah, um, actually, I know this isn't that good, but I took down some thoughts about you today. <sighs> Karma was her skin. Glows from within. Light was her eyes. Always a surprise. <laughs> you work me, girl. <laughs> Man, she ain't falling for that fake poetry. <laughs> Dubai, you wrote that for me? That is so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> well, we better go. Okay. Yo, D, I need to rap with you. Hey, man, I told you earlier, man, to step off. All right, man. All right, I'll step off. With her. <laughs> let's go. Yeah, let's go. Where are you going? Oh, don't. My man D know I like poetry, too. TK, this is a date. Three's a crowd. Hey, Z, listen. I'm... See ya. Good night. Peace. <laughs> For some old pictures of Wendell to give to Junior. You can't get away from me. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. 
How you guys like our outfits? <laughs> like father, like son. <laughs> they look great. Hey, Dad, can you and I get some outfits like that? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> all right, so let's go practice. I'm gonna teach you how to do the touchdown dance, all right? Hey, Mommy, who's that? That's Wendell at Bernadette's going away party. <laughs> how come Uncle Wendell's hair is so shiny? Uh, Cece, that's what we call uh, a jerry curl. That was the style back in 1985. Hey, look, even the picture's slippery. <laughs> oh, no. Cece, Nicholas, take this and look at it in your room. Okay. Okay. What? Robert, remember this? That was Bernadette's going away party. Right. Twelve years ago. That was the last time they were together. Junior's ten. Junior's not Wendell's son. Junior is not Wendell's son. How could she do this to him? This is terrible. It'll break his heart. I gotta tell Wendell. Robert, he could hate you. If I don't tell him, and he finds out that I know he's gonna hate me even more. <laughs> Would you look at what I found in my car? These are Father's Day cards that Junior made for Wendell. Look, look, for my daddy. Isn't that the cutest thing? So cute, I can't stand it. Oh, wait. Hey, look, don't play so rough out there. Now put him down. Junior, put your daddy down. <laughs> That boy loves his father. Bernie, remember this? That was my going away party. Yeah, well, I was looking at this and I realized it was 12 years ago. Wendell isn't Junior's father, is he? <laughs> All right. All right. Jerry. I just wanted my son to believe that his father was a good man. What about his real father? He left me as soon as I got pregnant. I'm, I'm a single mother, Jerry, but you know, we've, we've been okay. It's, it's just that when Junior started asking me all these questions about his daddy, I just couldn't bear to tell him the truth. But it isn't fair to Wendell. You have to tell him. Jer Jerry, believe it or not, I still love Wendell. And I would never do anything to hurt him. But, but I just needed and wanted my son to meet someone who was, who was special in my life. Bernadette, you can't expect us to keep this from him. He's family. Jerry, I, I know that this is wrong. But you, and, and I don't even know what I was thinking. But. We are only going to be here for, for a few more days. And when I get home, I will tell Wendell the truth. And I will write big Wendell a long letter. Bernie. Bernie Jerry, Dad. please. Look, look at them together. They are so happy. Do you really want to spoil their happiness? See, we need to talk. Hey, I know nothing happened between you and Devon on your date, but believe me, he's running game on you. Devon told me you a player, hey. Look, he's charming, he's cultured, he has strong conversation, and you have none of the above. <laughs> and how did you know nothing happened on our date? Oh, I was in the neighborhood. I looked in, heard some poetry, and had some hot wings. So you following me now? Look, don't flatter yourself. Hey, you don't understand Devon's game. I don't. Nah, see, you think you're gonna go to the movies, but he's gonna find out some reason to take you to his crib, and then it's on. TK, I'm not as stupid as you look. I can take care of myself. Hey, Zari, listen, he's gonna play you. Yo, 
on, man. Is Zari ready? Hey, Devon. Yeah, you starting to get stupid. Man, why are you tripping? Zari's not your sister. You don't even like her. I hate her like a sister. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. Yo, look, man, I got a good deal here. And if you dog her out, they're kicking me out, and I ain't having it. Yeah, well, what you gonna do about it? What I'm gonna do about it? I'm gonna introduce you to a little TKO. <laughs> How we get in our groove and we just dance. <laughs> this is for you. Ooh, Langston Hughes, I love him. Devon, you are always such a gentleman. Well, uh, we better get going. We don't want to be late for the movie. Okay. Oh, oh, um, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's wrong? I think I left my wallet at the crib. Is it cool if we just swim by there real quick so we can scoop it up? Hold on, did you check all your pockets? <laughs> your wallet saved your trip. Oh, good. So now we can just go straight to the movies. Oh, great. <laughs> you know, I, I really like how this place is set up. Oh, you do? Yeah. Maybe we can stop by my place. You can give me some decorating tips. Or maybe we could just skip the movie and spend the whole night at your place. I knew you were my kind of girl. <laughs> you got a water bed? Well, no, but I could pour some water on my sheets right quick. <laughs> Got it going on then, don't you? Hey, Zara, you know what you're doing? You don't know what I'm doing. I'm about to get my groove on. Good night, TK. <laughs> Good night, TK. <laughs> and good night, Devon. If you think I fell for your tired game, then baby, you need to wake up. Cause you a player and you just got played. <laughs> Tip. Get a door. It keeps the trash out. Now look, sorry. <laughs> you really thought I fell for his weak game? Man, please. I peeped him a long time ago. This was just an experiment. Just an experiment? Yeah. See, my daddy taught me how to recognize a dog, and I just wanted to know what it would be like to go out with one. Good night, TK. Nice, Zara. Honey, we have to tell Wendell the truth. Bernadette begged me not to tell. She doesn't want to hurt him. She doesn't want money. She doesn't even want a commitment. But Jerry, Wendell is our friend. Baby, can we at least wait until after they leave? <laughs> I'm scared of that one right oh, you <laughs> you. What's up, Petersons? What a day. Look what Daddy want for me. Yeah, it costs $2,000. <laughs> Wendell, uh... We have to talk. Not now, Rob, but I have an announcement to make. Junior, mm. Bernadette, I think we should be a family. Will you marry me? <sighs> what? I said marry me, not bury me. What's wrong with y'all? <laughs> Wendell, we have to talk right now. Bernadette, this can't go on. Uh, Wendell, can I speak to you for a second, please? Yeah. Wendell, uh... What's up? Wendell, I can't marry you. Why? I mean... Well, I don't exactly know how to say this, but... Wendell, Junior is not your son. What? He's not your son. I'm so sorry. I never meant for any of this to happen. Why'd you have to lie to me? I don't understand. You know what I mean? When, when Junior was little, I used to keep this picture of you right next to my bed, and he used to come and point to it and call you daddy. So you told him I was his father? Wendell, you were the nicest man that I had ever gone out with. You could make me laugh. You were so kind. I mean, that's why I named him after you. I thought that we would come here, he'd meet you, he'd be happy, and we would go home. 
I never intended to hurt anyone, least of all you. I really am so sorry. Right there, what you did was wrong. But I understand why you did it. I mean, where now? What do we do now? I guess I'll just go and tell Junior that I'll tell Junior the truth. Maybe it should come from me. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Junior? Hey, <laughs> So, are we gonna look at some colleges now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, down. Sit down, sir. to say this, man, but, uh... Wendell, I know you're not my real father. You do? Yeah. How do you know that? Because you're a real nice man. You wouldn't have left me and my mommy. You know, your real dad is missing out on somebody who's real special, man. Will you still be my friend? Always. <laughs> Too. Oh. Yeah, I had a jerry curl, too. Yeah, he used to call me Drip. <laughs> Even the picture slippery. What? Well, I, I didn't look that bad. I wasn't dripping that much. <laughs> look at some of these colleges, man. How about this one? That's an all-girls college. <laughs> I know. <laughs> 